Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so um, yesterday I posted a video on these nails. Uh, these are She Modern pigment powders that I did on regular polish. Um, if you haven't seen that, I'm gonna I'll link it somewhere, you know, uh, for you so you can watch. Um, so I had a few ladies ask me about um, other powders, like chrome powders, that kind of thing. So I figured um, I've had this Manny. This is uh, Manny Mix. It's her July sub bag. I've had these on for I don't know four or five days now. Um, so I'm gonna um, switch it up a little bit and add um, some stepping to it so I figured perfect opportunity I will show you how to add them okay so I figured I would grab uh, this plate I think this one would be okay maybe I'll add these guys uh, this one's BPL 024 so it's a lot of cool images so uh, what I have um, this is some chrome powders I got off of Amazon, and um, I can't remember the name of the company. I'll see if I can find the link for it, um, but it's on Amazon. I've seen other companies. I don't know. It doesn't have doesn't have the company name on it. I think it's Mode, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Okay, so it came with uh, four different colors. So I'm going to try, um, actually I think the blue with the green would look really nice with that. And then I also have a swatch stick that I'll do the silver on. Okay, so let's do that one first. So I thought, uh, yeah, I figured this way I can jazz up my mani a little bit. You know, because I don't know about you, but sometimes after I've worn, worn it for a few days, I'm like, eh, kind of bored. So, hence why you see I never match. And, um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I've got my white polish. I've got my old stamper. Remember, don't use a new one. You don't want um, to wreck your new stampers. Um, a lint roller and I got some of these little makeup sponges they came with the kit so carefully open this because it is everywhere so basically I'm gonna rub this on so I'm just doing a majority of the stamper just so um, one thing about doing this you can't see through the image once you've done it so um, that's why I do most of the image so it uh, so I just kind of guess so I probably pushed a little too hard you don't want to push too hard but look at that I don't know if you can get the full effect of I think I pushed too hard, but it's very pretty. Okay, so let's. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try this one on my nails, and I'm gonna do the blue. Um, hang on one sec. Okay, I just wanted to get everything out. I forgot to open this. So look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So where's my stamp? So, 
This one's a blue chrome. I'm just kind of getting it out of the lid. Sorry, I'm just getting powder everywhere. <laughs> okay. So, let's go for it. So, and then look how pretty that is. <laughs> it makes your stack your, um, so that turned out pretty good. You gotta be quick at it, I've noticed. Um, so you don't, um, you don't want it to dry too much. So I'm gonna try it one more time. Just brushing off the excess. I think I had some blue powder on my nail. When I did it, so no big D. So let's um, let's do it again. Oops, I always forget. I always get excited to do the stamping part. And then it's like, oh shoot, I forgot to put the powder on the stopper. So this way you get to see that it you can use any type of pigment powder uh, for this kind of application. Um, I, I've, I've heard girls using old eyeshadow. Um, I, I haven't worn makeup in like forever. I wasn't really much into makeup. I do nails. That's that's what I do. So there you have it. Okay, so we will Clean up a little bit here. I'll be right back. One sec. Okay, so then what I did was I just took a little manicure brush and just wiped away the excess. So if there's a couple little spots that you don't really like, you could probably um, get a little bit of nail polish remover um, and just remove it, or the tape here works as well. So I'm actually really liking that. I think that matches quite nicely. So, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna top coat. Um, I'm gonna use, um, a gel polish um, but you can totally use um, like a regular polish top coat um, I'm not a hundred percent sure about the dip top coat because um, I've never really let's brush this guy off so, I think because the flowers are like too mushed in together, they're pretty solid. But it still worked, so it's still stamped. So I don't know. Let's try top coating it and see what it... Okay, so this is my triple D. I don't know if it'll cure because I'm not putting activator on it. Yeah, it seemed to take the hollow off. 
So don't do that. <laughs> I would just use a regular polish, uh, top coat or gel polish. So note to self. Okay, hang on, let me get organized and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my I May Lee No Wipe Top Coat. Oops. So, I don't know if this is a new bottle or old bottle. Oh, I gotta go get a new bottle. Hang on one sec. Okay, I just grabbed my Madame Glam No Wipe Top. This one's not a no wipe top coat, which it's okay. You just have to clean off the inhibition layer with um, some alcohol. So I just do a generous dollop. And I just kind of float it. Oops, that's way, way too generous. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna clean that up and I'll be right back after a cure. Okay, so I'm cured. I'm just gonna get some alcohol and clean off the inhibition layer because this one actually has one. But, um, yeah, oops. So you can, I'm just going to grab some cuticle oil. So you can totally stamp with pigment powders, chrome powders, um, eyeshadows, whatever kind of pigments you have. Um, it totally works. And it's a great way of... Um, fancying up a mani um, and just kind of recycling my mani there anyway this was supposed to be a quick little video and it turned out longer than I had intended but I am loving how it turned out um, thank you for hanging out with me while I do my nails I hope you uh, enjoy this and um, I hope you try it out let me know what you think anyway Stay safe. Love you guys. And remember, be someone sparkle. Bye.